Okay guys, so welcome back to another fantastic review. I'm Perseus with you from Projects and today we'll be watching, we'll be doing a review on Transformers Revenge of the Fallen played by Perseus. Wait, I'm down here guys, not, not up there, okay? Down here, just look down here. Okay, so um, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen is a third person shooter video game based on the action film you guessed it, Transformers or Revenge of the Fallen. It is the sequel to 2007's Transformers The Game. Um, it was developed by Luxuflux, Benax, uh, Vicarious Visions, uh, Chrome Studios, Savage Entertainment. Uh, Benax actually put it out for PC, Vicarious Visions put it out for NDS, Chrome Studios gave it out for PS2 and Wii, and Savage Entertainment gave it out for PSP. The publishers were, I mean, it was Activision. So yeah, go Activision. Uh, like I said, third person shooter, um, it's a single, single player and multiplayer game. Uh, uh, the game, Revenge of the Fallen, features two separate campaigns. One, one that goes around by the actions of the Autobots, and the other of the actions of the Decepticons. So, the game actually expands on on the movie plot with additional missions and characters, unlike uh, its predecessors. Revenge of the Fallen features a hub-like non-linear mission progression. This allows players to choose what mission they would like to accomplish and where in order to further drive the story. Uh, multiplayer features five, five different modes. Deathmatch, uh, then we got control points and we got capture the flag, I believe, and one shall stand. And I forgot one. Control points, team death matches. Sorry, guys. So yeah, um, well, we know the characters that are in, right? You know, in PC we got uh, Optimus Prime, uh, Bumblebee, Ironhide, Ratchet, Breakaway. Um, out of the Septicons, we got Megatron, Starscream, Grindor, Long Call, and Sideways. So yeah. Uh, you also have the ability, the, the ability to transform from, uh, you know, being on the ground or being on the air or ground. So, pick your poison. Uh, the, the game was released in 23rd, 26 June 2009. It was released for um, Windows, Nintendo DS, PlayStation 2 and 3, PlayStation Portable, V and Xbox 360. Um, the engines that are running uh, for Mercury, Mercury engine was used for PS2 and Wii. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Lux Engine actually um, made it for PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. So. Thank you, Lux Engine. You are the best. So, what else did we forget? Um, well, I'm not going to talk to you about the campaign and stuff, you know, because that would just give it a little away and you guys wouldn't play it then. The graphics for 2009 are actually pretty great. The gameplay and plot were decent, good. Um, and now on to the aggregate scores and review scores. So aggregate scores, game rankings gave it for PC 65% out of 100. Not that much, but still. 
Uh, Metacritic gave it an 85 out of 100. Uh, Uh, okay, yeah, review scores. Um, Destructoid gave it a four, uh, four and a half out of ten. Edge gave it a four out of ten. Eurogamer gave it a four out of ten. Game Informer gave it a six point two five out of ten. Whoa, who's that? Oh, right, it's this guy. Uh, yeah, uh, GamePro gave it a 6 out of 10. GameSpot gave it a 6 out of 10 as well. Um, GameSpot gave it a 3.5 stars out of 5. Game Trailers gave it a 6.3 out of 10. GameZone gave it a... Um, they didn't actually made any review, any scores for PC. Interesting. Giant Bomb gave it a 3 out of 5. IGN gave it a, a 6 out of 10. Nintendo Power gave it a 5 out of 5 out of 10. Official Xbox Magazine gave it a 6 out of 10. And PC Gamer US gave it a 38%, which is kind of low. I'm surprised, actually. Uh, so this is going to be it, guys, for this episode. For this review, I mean. And um, I will see you guys in the next review, which we're going to do. So, yeah, guys. So this is it. Bye-bye and enjoy.